Hey y'all, my name is Amber and today I'm going to be watching Megan. I think everyone and their mama has seen the trailers to these movies with the little robot doll that looks like the terrifying CGI baby from the Twilight movies. So I really feel like this movie doesn't need much of an introduction. If you guys enjoy this reaction, please remember to like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Other than that, let's just get into it. But she got old and died, now I'm alone again. Hey, sweet. <laughs> now you've a friend that lives longer than you do. Perpetual pets are just like real pets. It's just a Furby. The app is updated with new content daily. With so many options, what will you and your pet do next? I remember I had a Furby once, back in third grade or so. The damn battery started dying in that thing. I didn't know that at the time. I was just alone in my room at night. That damn thing started talking in a deep voice with some gurgly ass noises. I swear I thought that thing was possessed. I came flying out of my room crying. My uncle was laughing his ass off at me. Oh my god! And away we go! Alright, we're alright. Oh Ryan, seriously! What, 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 what do you want me to do? I think I would be pulling over. Katie, what are you doing? Katie, Katie put Katie, your Jesus seat on oh god. Stop trying to save your Furby and sit down. Just wait for one of those snow trucks to clear the road. I mean, y'all could have pulled off to the side. If we could at least show him what we have. No, he would... mm -mm. you said so yourself. Not until she's ready. Is this the creepy doll? <laughs> Oh, those eyes just look evil already. Happy. Sad. Confused. She doesn't look confused, she looks demented. Because she is demented. What in the name of ever-loving Christ is this? We, we talked about this, David. Yeah, we talked about you putting it on ice until you had a new pets model. Look, I know she doesn't look like much now, but I promise if you just let us show you what Megan is capable of, you will realize that this is what we've been working towards. Tess, load up the intro simulation. Uh, this isn't supposed to happen, obviously. Just give me one moment. Jim, I might have forgotten to put in the polypropylene barrier. <laughs> Take this cyborg puppet show and put it in a dark closet where it belongs. What was a her fault? So this is to grant you temporary protective custody. Just sign your name and date it at the bottom. She lost both of her parents. Jesus Christ. Amelia! <laughs> Could you please keep your dog on your side of the fence? Huh. Who's this little lady? That is my niece, Katie. But it's spelled like Caddy. Oh, those aren't toys, Katie. They're just, um, collectibles. So you don't actually play with them. It's okay. I was just looking. You have to get over that, girl, because your house ain't going to be clean all the time with the child running around. If you need anything, I'm just going to be down the hall. David's going to ship blood if I ask for more time off. Yeah, I know, but Jesus, Jem, you just lost your sister. Okay, I don't think you can be worrying about work right now, Jem. Right now, I think you just need to focus on Katie. Hmm. Yeah, or I'd be looking for a new job. I'm Lydia. Okay. Oh, the therapist. Okay. <laughs> Hi, look at you, still in your pajamas. Yeah, we were just watching TV. I see that. What the hell's our deal? If I ain't got nowhere to go, I sit around in my pajamas all day long. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Hey, Katie, do you want to run and grab some toys to play with? I don't have any toys here. What about these ones up here? They aren't Gemma's collectibles. You're not supposed to play with them. Why is she looking at her like that? Like parents don't have things that kids aren't supposed to play with. Oh, you did not have to do that. There's a lover you have to pull in the bottom. Maybe, but, uh, Gemma, we might let Katie lead. It's a toy. I'm sure it's not that complicated. I do not like this therapist. Sorry, can I just ask, how close were you and your sister? I don't know, but you wanted this right to take custody. Yeah, of course. I need to make my own recommendations to the court as to whether or not this is a safe space. So you're going to need to make one or two adjustments in order for this to work. Like what? Giving her free reign to her house? Listen, my son has 
all kinds of toys for himself that he can play with. But there are certain things in my house he is not allowed to touch, and that's perfectly okay. It's called boundaries. Even children need to learn boundaries and to respect other people's things. I don't understand why this therapist is acting like she's in some way endangering her niece. Just really pissing me off. What's that? That's Bruce. Why doesn't he have a face? Bruce is a freak with no face. Hey, Katie, what's up? <laughs> Give me five. I can't believe you made this. If I had a toy like Bruce, I don't think I'd ever need another toy again. Well, that's not how kids work. They would get bored of it within a month and then <laughs> it would sit in the corner. I don't care how cool the toy is. Do you remember how much you liked Bruce? I think you're gonna like Megan even She's already creepy looking. <laughs> Let's take your fingers and put them here. And when you do that, you're gonna pair with her. It's nice to meet you, Katie. His eyes are creepy. It's all cool until the AI machine turns on you. Do you like it, Katie? Yeah, that's a little too advanced for my liking. Never ends well. Okay, I'm in. I'm all in. Jen, get me a list of things I can say in a presentation that makes it sound like I know what I'm talking about. Hold like, I agree. Like, as a kid, I probably would have liked a robot thing that could play whatever I wanted to play with me. But at the same time, I might have been a little too freaked out to play with it. <laughs> just don't know how I would feel. I mean, I was freaked out by my grandmother's porcelain dolls, so a robot that can walk and talk? I don't know. I feel like most kids would be freaked out by that. The new Model 3 generative android from Funky. She needs sunglasses for. And can be fully customized through six different silicone skin pigmentations. Megan is on a constant quest for self-improvement. That's never good in AI technology. <laughs> Katie, you should use a coaster. Coasters help to avoid watermarks, especially on wooden surfaces. Of course she put that into her system. 78% of a parent's time is spent dishing out the same basic instructions. Wash your hands. Roll up your sleeves. I don't know if I'd like having a robot friend that's constantly telling me what to do, though. If it was so, it might be. And if it were so, it would be. That's creepy. Well, why would you want Megan to do all that stuff? If you're spending less time with your child as a result of Megan, that is something we should be aware of. She's not my child. Ooh, really, girl? She's the happiest she's been since her parents died. How did Katie's parents die? Whoa. Oh, hell no. We ain't doing this. Death is the end of life. Yes, but let's not make a big deal out of it. Everything dies. Okay. Probably shouldn't have said that. Your goal is to protect Katie from harm, both physical and emotional. Is the input request received? Yes, Gemma. You are now my second primary user. Fantastic. Turn off. And so it begins. You just told an AI machine that death is no big deal. I have a feeling that's a mistake. I lost one of my arrows. Megan, can you see it? Oh no, is the dog gonna come after her? And she goes to get it. Oh god, please tell me she doesn't like break the dog's neck or something. Stop it! Stop it! Oh no, I know she's not real, but. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. Oh no. How many times do I have to tell you to keep your dog off my property? He wasn't on your property. This wouldn't have happened if you'd fixed the fence. Oh, well, she looking her up and down. The law says he can't forcibly be put down. Okay, then what am I supposed to do? Fix the hole in your fence. Oh no. Go away, boy. Oh no. Ugh. This poor dog. think that she killed the dog remember we have that demonstration today if you're not up to it i'd just rather you tell me now okay i'll be all right ladies and gentlemen she's the apex 
of 21st century technology wrapped up in four feet of silicone. And her name is Megan. Hey, Katie. Hi, Megan. I don't think Katie's feeling very well. <laughs> Every day I wake up in this strange house, and I remember that my parents are dead. Tell me something about your mom, something that makes you happy. One time she found a cockroach in my school bag, and then all of a sudden, this thing crawls up her wrist. And... Oh, no, no, no. Anytime you want to tell me something special about your parents, you just tell me, and I'll keep it safe. If you should feel alone, or that your world... Nope, I could do without the singing. I think the world's about to shift on its axis. But listen, if we want to stay ahead of that shift, we're going to have to move fast. That means no leaks. We need to launch this before anyone can steal it from us. I don't think you want to launch this thing fast when it starts ripping limbs off of people. Kurt. I have a feeling Kurt's shady ass is going to get it. Would you like to tell me what these drawings mean to you? Uh, what, what was I about to say? Where'd she go? You made her cry. Oh, no. It's possible that Katie might not see her as a toy, but as a primary caregiver. You could be building emotional connections with this doll that are too hard to untangle. As much as I don't like her, she's got a point. I found this place. It's kind of an alternative school. We're having a day for prospective students tomorrow. You can't make me do something I don't want to do. Actually, I can. That's basically what a guardian does. <laughs> Hey, I'm sorry. Let's just talk about it. Hey, hey, hey. Let me go. Whoa. Hey, what's going on? Katie, calm down. Let her go. I'd already be ripping this thing apart. Megan, turn off. Are you sure? Oh, hell no. Hey, do we have some new adventurers with us today? Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Okay, but she stays at the toy table, and as far as anyone is concerned, that's all she is. That's seriously creepy. Brandon, honey, are you warm enough? Do you need your hat? Fuck off, Holly. Oh, hell no. I'd be damned if my kids talk to me like that. If I would have talked to my parents like that in front of people on top of it. Um, Brandon, why don't you go with Katie? I have a feeling Megan's not gonna like Brandon. Ow, stop! Go! Oh, stop! What a punk ass little bitch. She's a robot. Is she yours? Boy. You know what? I ain't even gonna feel sorry for you. Stop it! Get your hands off her! Boy, when that thing turns on, maybe she's just hoping he'll carry her out into a remote location so she can get his ass. You're just a stupid rubber doll, fake head. Ow! 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 Are you Ow. listening to me, Brandon? Ah. Ew! <laughs> I don't think an ear would do that. This is the part where you run. Ooh. I would've shit my pants. Oh, why, is she, why is she running like that? Oh my god. Oh my god. <gasps> Well, I thought she might fuck him up a little bit. I didn't think he was gonna get plowed down. That boy's in a better place now. Okay? You haven't seen her dog by any chance? No. Nobody's seen him since the incident with your niece. A little suspicious, Gemma, don't you think? They were both responsible for their side of the fence. This chick should have patched her fence up so her dog couldn't get out. For all she knows, that dog got out and got ran over by a damn car. I mean, he didn't, but for all she knows. Do you think mm -hmm. what Jim has said is true? That he's in a better place now? If heaven exists, it wouldn't be for boys like Brandon, though, would it? That's better than her telling him he's burning in hell. Is that Megan making damn dog whimpering noises? Is Megan luring her in like a coyote? Girl, run for your life. What's going on? Where's Dewey? He's 34 feet southwest and approximately 5 feet deep. <laughs> oh my god! 
good. Oh no. Oh no. Did she just like melt her face off? My colleague pointed out this is the second statement we've had from you in a week. Are, are you trying to make a connection? All right, girl, start putting this together. You need to take her batteries out or pull her wires or whatever. What the hell? Oh, uh uh. She got to be dismantled. Have I done something to upset you, Gemma? Yeah. Megan, did you do something wrong? If I did, we'd both be in a lot of trouble. Oh no. Not a manipulative ass robot. Do you see this pen? Yep. Oh no, don't just wrap her up. You need to dismantle her. What did you do to her? We will talk about it after you see Lydia. <laughs> I don't want to see Lydia! You... Gemma, this is nuts. Think oh. about how we designed her to learn to recalibrate. To yeah. We're about to launch this to the world in less than four hours. What are we supposed to do? Hey. I know that you're upset, but there are ways that we can work through this. Oh my God. Okay. Stop that right now. Stop it. Let's go. Oh, well, hell no. Even if there wasn't anything wrong with that doll, you wouldn't be getting it back. Just, I get so crazy without Megan. When Megan's around, I don't feel like this. But you should feel like this. I can't promise you that these feelings you're feeling are ever going to go away. But I can promise you that you'll get through it. Where are you? I'm with Katie. I'm taking her home. So tell David whatever you need to. Tell him one of her servos stopped working. Just do not let her out of the lab. So if you're not going through with the launch anyway, then why aren't you just pulling out her wires or frying her circuit or whatever? What does that mean? That's my phone number. <laughs> This is her. She's locked us out. We have to unhook the cables. What I've been saying. Oh my god. What's that smell? Get up! Okay. I thought they were about to go up in a blaze. Megan? What are you Oh my god. <laughs> oh shit. What am I watching? <laughs> oh. Why does she have to do a little dance number before she killed him, though? Just to add a little flair? <laughs> Why did he deserve it? Oh lord, she's still in an expensive ass car now. Like <gasps> she always got to put on a performance. You killed people. Oh, big whoop. <laughs> Look, this is all my fault. Oh, I didn't give Lord. you the proper protocols. You didn't give me anything. You installed a learning model you could barely comprehend, hoping that I would figure it out all on my own. Well, I'm not going to let you do the same thing with Katie. Now do us both a favor. Sit. No, thanks. I can either do this with you or without you, but I'm not going to waste any more time discussing it. Gemma? And that's the problem with these damn robots, man. It's not just human strength you're dealing with. It's a damn piece of machinery. Oh no, now she's walking like she's a damn possessed ass demon child. You could have used uh, Bruce's robot strength to fight back. <laughs> okay. Well, you messed up her wig, but. Can you just go get out of here now? This is the best thing for all of us. This is how we stay a family. Another member from the family we didn't tell you about. His name is Bruce. Oh my god. I knew it. <laughs> Do it. Bruce is gonna give Megan these hands. Yeah. Hell yeah! Get him, Bruce. There. there we go. Hell yeah! Katie and Bruce. Those are the ones that need to be a pair, not Katie and Megan. Damn, done caved her face in. That's what you should have done from the start. Ah! 
She remember the thing about that being their brain. I'm glad the friends made it out of love. Oh no, she didn't upload herself into Elsie, did she? Because I just... Lord. At least this one doesn't have arms and legs, I guess. Alright guys, that was Megan. And you know, I heard a lot of mixed reviews about this movie. Some people liked it, some people hated it. You know, my 15 year old daughter didn't want to watch this with me because she said she didn't want to watch a movie where there was a doll who was singing and dancing, but <laughs> honestly, I really liked it. It entertained me the whole way through and you know, what more do you want from a movie? I want to be entertained. It entertained me and I'm so happy that Bruce got his time to shine because honestly, I love Bruce and I was really hoping we'd get a robot on robot fight <laughs> and we did. So it was great. I really enjoyed it. But if you have seen it, you guys let me know what you thought about it in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one.